guys. I'm here with Nick Camplin. He is the founder, the creator of the G7 Capo Company uh, out of Peterborough, England, which is like an hour north of London, half an hour outside of Cambridge, somewhere around that area. That's about right. <laughs> somewhere out there. You'll uh, find it. <laughs> just go north. But anyways, look, I wanted to talk to these guys because as far as Capos go, you know, you put a straight bar on it and, you know, you change the key, but G7 has done some pretty cool and innovative stuff on how they apply their capos the aesthetics are really modern really progressive looking in my opinion and really a quality capo so Nick tell us more thank you, thank you so much when did you start the company we started the company in 2000 first capo came on the market in 2004 okay the performance capo performance capo all right which is this one here. the performance capo it's that kind of that that when you think the of G7 capo yeah the one you squeeze okay and then uh, you guys have been kind of developing a variety of new stuff since yeah we've had, we've got a, a couple of new ones on for this show okay um, but probably the, the, the one of the most interest for this show is the uh, oh, ultralight. I haven't even is, seen this one yet. This is a tiny one. Oh, it I only see weighs that. a quarter of an ounce. Oh my goodness, but it has enough pressure to, yeah. to hold on, huh? Let me show you. Yeah, how does that it's work? Got a, it's got a glass filled, don't lose the Martin. We've got a glass filled <laughs> nylon bar across it's the glass top. Fill. Glass filled. Glass oh. filled. So it's got stiffness. Oh, okay, for the density of it. And it's got the strap is nylon, so it's wow. long wearing. It'll, it'll last forever. We've got the uh, we've got the uh, lifetime warranty on it, same as everything else. Yeah. And all you do is clip, simple, twist. Wow. Play. And, and it you, still has that same G7 kind of aesthetics yeah, to it, that yeah. kind of look. But you see, this is a this is like a twelve dollar cable. Is that right? Yeah. So wow. we're aiming to catch the people who come in, learn to play the guitar, and then gradually they can work their way up our, uh, yeah, up yeah, our yeah, range of capos as they get better. Well, what I love most about G7 is they provided like a, a nice kind of, you guys have a nice quality capo, the performance capo, but then I don't know if it was the new port that came out next. Because it's maybe the Nashville. The Nashville, okay. The, the squeezy one. The, the squeezy one. And now this one. What I liked about the new port is it's, is it's got the easy knob on the back as opposed to just the kind of clamping one, but it yeah. seemed like it's a little bit more affordable yeah. in pricing because the performance capo, it is so quick, so easy, it looks good, but if you want a G7 with a little bit more affordability, the, the new port to me was that kind of step uh, to the lateral. But the Nashville capo is cool because it's very traditional, quick and easy, and then now this is the new Ultralight. Ultralight capo. And they come in a couple of different colors? They come in red, blue, and black, and we're doing other colors. Okay, um, so we're doing other colors. Yeah. But the other thing you can do with it is you can slide it. Easy. Wow. So, well, what's next for G7? I gotta design more capos! <laughs> How long have you been coming to AM, Nick? Oh, we've been coming, I guess. It's, and we launched the first one in 2004, so probably 2005. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so a pretty good length of time, so you've seen it grow. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Nick, thank you so much for sharing your, your brand with us, and I know I'm a big fan, so thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.